Welcome to PeopleGraph. PeopleGraph is a fun and unique way to graph information or data you might collect from classmates or other people. Click Start. So let's say you are polling your classmates on what their favorite um, <clears throat> football team is. So a couple things to look at. Watch the key down here. Right here it says one person, this little icon, equals one. So let's say that one of the teams is the, I don't know, let's go with the Cowboys. And let's say you're not just polling your classmate, but you're polling the whole school. And <clears throat> let's say 20 people like the Cowboys. So I click, I put 20 in the blank there. I hit return. And you see there's 20 little icon people that show up. Now let's say the Redskins are the next team. And let's say 25 people said the Redskins. So I click enter. And you see now I have 20 little icons for the Cowboys and 25 for the Redskins. Let's say the Colts, they weren't as popular. Let's say eight, <coughs> excuse me, eight people um, chose the Colts. So I click enter. And you see eight people icon. Now let's say we chose the Steelers, and let's say 53 people chose the Steelers. You're going to watch what happens. There's not enough room for 53 icons. So what happens is down in the left corner, the person icon is going to become worth more than one. So if I put 53 in there, now each person is worth three. So for example, you have the Cowboys here, you have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, and you have two-thirds of another person, which equals 20. And you can see there's one-third here for the Redskins. So let's try, let's do one more. Let's put the Eagles. I'm not an Eagles fan. Let's just see what happens if I put 90. Let's watch how the key changes. So now, to represent 90 people, the icon is worth four. So as you see for the Cowboys, four, or sorry, five, ten, or no, no, four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty. And for the Colts, four, eight. And you see there's fractions of people here to represent one fourth is to represent a half. Now I can print this graph out or I can keep going. I can put up to 10 labels on. I have a maximum value of 100. The system won't let you put more than 100 in. If I show questions, the program is going to ask you multiple choice questions, much like GraphMaster, another one of my graphing programs, about your data. For example, how many total people answered? So we could count all these up. And 45, 53, 106, we get 196. What was the most popular choice? You can see that's clearly the Eagles. The next question asks, what is the least popular choice? I remember that was the Colts. How many more people like the Redskins than Cowboys? 25 like the Redskins, 20 like the Cowboys, so that's five. How many people chose the Colts or the Steelers? 53 people chose the Steelers, eight people chose the Colts, so that's 61. How many more people like Eagles than Colts. I remember we had 90 who chose the Eagles, only 8 who liked the Colts, so that would equal 82. And finally, how many people chose Colts or Cowboys? I believe that's 28. So now, I'm going to click Check Answers. You, you, this button might be cut off in the video, but if I click here, it's going to give me feedback. 100%. Since all of these are in green, it means I got them all right. So this is how you play, this is how you use uh, the people graph, just a great graph. Um, it's a little bit of a unique way to display your data.